Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Perspective 9. I'm driving somewhere for brunch, but I really wanted to make this uh, video right now because a few people have been asking me about Bitcoin and its feature, and I just wanted to make this video and send it to them directly. So, Bitcoin. As a person who used to love it, and in 2013 I used to try to ask my dad $5 to buy it, and I was mining it on a laptop. To now, I see no feature in Bitcoin because it was made by the people who hate the financial system and the government because we are not satisfied with the services that we're getting. And it was supposed to be a challenge and an opposition to them. But now the price of Bitcoin is going up and down because of the ETF. What is ETF in the first place? ETF uh, is an index fund of one or multiple uh, stocks or bonds or other things. And right now, a company called BlackRock is trying to, first they uh, bought a huge percentage of Bitcoin at different prices. And now what they're trying to do with the ETF is that they will own the underlying asset, which is the Bitcoin itself. And when they sell the ETF, it's just a piece of paper saying that you have the right to own this amount of Bitcoin. Now... Uh, you buying or not buying that uh, ETF has nothing to do with the price of Bitcoin going up and down because you're not owning the underlying asset, And that's the biggest issue. Uh, it means that they can do anything with the Bitcoin as they please. And uh, you wouldn't even know if they have the Bitcoin or not. There is no way for you to verify. And the worst thing about that as well is that Right now, BlackRock is one of the companies who's doing the things that we don't like. Especially in Canada, Justin Trudeau and Christina Freeland are under the World Economic uh, Forum's hands and they're uh, just passing different tax laws about uh, being green. And no matter how much money you pay, how's that going to make the planet green? But then they uh, take private jets going everywhere and like it just doesn't make sense. And we don't like that and we don't agree to that. So again, Bitcoin as... Uh, being something that we use to stand against the things that we don't like, which is right now the government, uh, the uh, financial institutions and BlackRock being one of them or Vanguard being another one of them that does things that we don't agree with. It's not doing its job. And second, uh, Bitcoin was made just to do transactions. And right now you cannot do daily transactions and buy your groceries and all of that with Bitcoin, which is the first problem. And second problem, uh, unless you're working in a field uh, with cryptocurrency and you're a software developer who's trying to get paid in Bitcoin, yes, that works. But other than that, you cannot get paid in Bitcoin uh, either. So that's another challenge. And for the people who try to use Bitcoin to buy things, the problem with that is that uh, it is super slow the cost of transaction is high so unless you're buying something big and yes you see on the news this person buying this house or this car with bitcoin because the owner of the dealership or the owner of the house is also another person who's knowledgeable and knows how to use bitcoin and is okay with that but these are not something that are easy to do for most people and the cost of doing it is high and the delay is high so it's not something that you can use to uh, walk in the store and just buy a lollipop with bitcoin so that's another challenge and uh, yes there's other uh, coins that exist but a lot of the other ones like ethereum are uh, made to be more functional like ethereum that's a platform you know, to be a smart contract the other problem with Bitcoin is because of its volatility, no one would want to get paid in that either because from the moment that let's say you get paid, you need to make sure at least for the next month uh, you can do your regular tasks like paying your bills and doing your groceries and all of that. But with the volatility, most intelligent people wouldn't like that. Uh, so that's another issue and unless there is another good breakthrough in the technology I don't see any future in Bitcoin right now do I see future in cryptocurrency yes but in Bitcoin specifically not really no and you might be talking okay there is something like a yeah, lightning network that's uh, making the job easier but lightning network is not safe in the way that 
you like to think it is and it's just again based on trusting someone and they try to make the speed of the transactions a little bit higher by putting multiple transactions together before they put it in the Bitcoin blockchain. But again, it's an error layer that causes security concern. And right now for anyone in order to buy or sell Bitcoin, they need to go through an exchange and uh, governments can block different exchanges right now. Like Binance has been blocked in Canada and they do a thing called know your customer kyc uh, which they take all of your information like your id and everything else so for example in the thing that justin trudeau did a few years ago about uh, blocking people's bank accounts and freezing them because the truckers were protesting against covid 19's uh, issues they could do the same thing if your name and your information is known to different exchanges so again it's not providing any kind of security or privacy and you might be like okay uh, crypto is used to do crimes and all that but again uh, right now there are so many banks who are more involved in crimes and are helping criminals than at any moment in time bitcoin was used to, to do any kind of crimes and uh go and look at jp morgan with the epstein island and everything else uh scotia bank is known uh, to be another uh bank that is you know used by not the best people so do you want to trust the banks or do you want to trust the system that no one no one person can control. But again, right now, with the KYC, I know your customer, it, you, you can't uh, go through the normal systems because uh, again, your name and information and all of that is registered. So uh, unless you're getting Bitcoin directly through a wallet and you're spending it directly to a wallet and you're not going through exchanges to transfer regular money into Bitcoin, then you are sadly at out of luck. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff, and have a good day.